So here we have a Stanley number no. five hand plane. I've been looking for one of these for quite a long time and they, uh, they're fairly higher in price around my area and even like on eBay, they seem like they're gold. This was $10. So I ha have a uh, little jack plane that I've had for quite a while, but it does not work that great for some reason but uh, this is a no-name jack plane so today we are going to go ahead and restore this Stanley number no. five So here is the bed of the plane. It's not in bad shape. There's no cracks or anything like that. And we're going to get this blown off. As you can see, there's a bunch of wood debris in here. We're going to get this blown down and get this in some evaporust. Look, most of it just fell out. We're going to get this in the evaporust and see how well this comes clean. So the hand plane has been sitting in the evaporust for about 24 hours. And we're taking it out right now. This is just the base of it. And I've gotten the other parts and pieces in here as well. That I'll be getting out and getting these all cleaned up and rinsed off. And this is always just like the, pro the, the basic thing. This is what I do first. And most of this I will still take over to like a wire wheel. But even this, you can see how rusty it looks. And just rubbing on it is getting a lot of that stuff off. So this is what it looks like whenever it comes out of the evaporust and gets rinsed off. It still has like a little film over it. The evaporust I'm using is very dirty from the uh, engine rebuild I've been doing. But this is after just a little bit of steel wool. Got some four out steel wool and I'm just rubbing it in the grain of the plain iron and it's coming off very very easily and these were pretty well rusted to begin with but after just a little bit of time it starts knocking that rust back off of there and gets that little film that the evaporust has and gets that cleared off. Do this side real quick. And then the, obviously the the iron's going to go over some sandpaper or something anyway, so that's pretty much it after you put some steel wool on it so a little bit of evaporust and a little bit of steel wool and it goes a long way There it is, all painted up. We used the ceramic paint again. And now we're going to be working on the handles while this is drying. And we'll get these all cleaned up. 
sprayed with some lacquer and after everything's all dry we'll be able to start reassembly. Starting the reassembly process and we've got the frog all cleaned up and we are reattaching the frog actually to the body and it's just these two screws with the two washers on them and when you get into the bigger hand planes there's a, an adjustment on the back side that you also got to uh, kind of tie into this whole entire process right here so you got just your frog right here but when you get into the bigger hand planes, you also have a back section that you have to um, tie in. This is a number five, and let me see if you guys can see this better. You guys may be able to see the little screw down here in the bottom, and you have to tie that in as well, and that actually helps adjust where the frog is sitting. But the number five does not have one. So we make the adjustments just with those two screws. And we are going to try to get it very close. And this will take a couple times probably to get it spot on right. But just snug these down and put the screw that will help hold the iron in place and we got these two that need to go together I have not uh, sharpened the iron yet either I'm just trying to get the trying to get the hand plane put back together we'll get the chip breaker a little bit closer to where it would be Remember, we're going to take this all back apart anyway. We'll slide that down in here. And I will be getting a screw for that eventually. I've got some spare hand planes that I can look at probably snatching one off of that no longer good and I put four coats of polyurethane spray on the knob and the tote and for sharpening we are using the x -Masses stones we are starting right on the 1000 grit because there was no dents or anything on this and it looked fairly sharp to begin with so we're going to start with just the 1000 or yeah the 1000 grit Now we'll move on to the honing. For uh, doing the honing process, I made this little stick thing um, a long time ago, and I've used it quite a bit. And then I picked up this green compound from Harbor Freight, and you just go really quick putting some of it on there. You don't want to put like a massive amount on there, but the quicker you do it, the I believe that it burns into the leather a little bit better. And that is how that is supposed to be working. And then we just want to give this a few passes. there it is the uh, Stanley number five has been completely restored I did find a screw to put in the front of the handle and everything works great 
it is amazing i tried to work on some red oak to begin with and the red oak i don't like it is it's weird to plain to me and uh, not a fan of it but i had some of this walnut here in this big block still and as you can see i mean it was it's making beautiful shavings even across so yeah we're done it's another one to put up on the shelf and uh, i'll probably i had this hand plane right here for a long time and i'll probably go ahead and try to get this one sold and we'll take this one right here and put this one up on the user shelf thanks guys for joining today watching this restoration on this stanley number five this was a ten dollar hand plane and it is it's beautiful now it's not rusty or anything like that um, so i really enjoyed this one if you guys missed the last one i did which was this big stanley number seven go ahead check that one out and if you guys are wondering what kind of paint i am using i know some of you guys are i'm using this uh, engine enamel with uh, ceramic in it and it is really really nice it is it leaves a really hard finish for the paint so I picked that up at uh, our my local Napa store. So if you guys need some, you guys go check it out there. Thank you guys for watching. It's also sold on Amazon. I just remembered that. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are new, welcome. Hit that subscribe button so you guys can check out all my videos. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next project.